food challenges. And it is now uh, time to welcome in Randy Santel and Katina. Hey, thanks for having us on the show. Oh, good morning. Good morning. <laughs> <laughs> okay, where do we begin? I know. I feel like there's so many elements that we want to talk to you about. YouTube success, of course, food challenges. Randy, you were sharing with us before you got started 11 years in the making of food challenges. Take me back, though. What is it that goes through your mind when you're like, you know what? I could do this. I could take on food. This has my name written all on it. Take me back. Was there a moment that you remember that kind of inspired your journey? Uh, pretty much for most competitive eaters or professional eaters, a lot of us started the same way. And actually, we have a very starting, uh, a very similar start kind of history. But back in 2010, I actually won a national body transformation contest from going from, I used to play college football, so I was a bit heavier. But then I got down to having a six pack and I submitted my photos and I won this trip to New Zealand to appear on the show Spartacus. It was sponsored by Men's Health Magazine. But then to celebrate, my friend who had helped me with the diet, he invited me to do a 28-inch pizza challenge in St. Louis, Missouri, where we're both from. And we ended up winning. We got a check for $500. We got the pizza for free. And everything just kind of went from there. And now I've got 947 food challenge wins in pretty much every major city of Florida, and then all 50 states, and then 37 countries. Ooh. And now you're doing it with your girlfriend as well. So tell me, the yes. competitive eater, I mean, that's like literally a professional title. How do you get that title, Katina? What what was your journey into this? Uh, basically, yeah, like you said, this is pretty similar. Uh, I started out in a bodybuilding show in April of 2019, actually. So I'm coming up on two years. And during that whole time of like dieting and getting ready for the show, I was really, really hungry and watching YouTube videos like Randy going out and doing all these food challenges. And I was like, I could do that. I could do that. <laughs> so after the show was over, I needed to put on some weight again. And I went out, did my first food challenge, was still hungry afterward. I recorded it for fun and just kept going and going and going and haven't looked back. So Aww. I love that. You know, I'm curious. You guys were uh, saying it, all the food challenges that you've done. You, were, you shared the number of how many you've won in titles. Everything from what pizza, cookies, cheese steaks. You've really been able to do it all. Is there any food challenge that you're like, I don't want to do? Anything that's just like, no, that's too much, Randy. Pretty much spicy. There's a challenge in Sarasota that a lot of people wanted me to try because it was on man versus food, and I just said no to that. It's way too hot. If a challenge is too spicy, it kind of just ruins your body for like a day or two. And when I'm on my tours, I do a food challenge every day. Uh, so I, I'm not really able to take days off. But other than that, I'll eat pretty much anything. There's like 35 different types of food challenges, and I've done them all multiple times. Wow. So okay, really talk about your time. Sure. You guys were just here because you travel all over the country to do this, uh, but you were just here in the Tampa Bay area not too long ago. What do you? What are some of the highlights uh, from your time here locally? Yeah, Florida is pretty much the one state that's just majorly open. So we decided to just spend two months down there just filming content for both of our channels. I was doing a challenge a day. She was doing about three to four a week. But what were your favorites? Uh, favorite of the challenges, I actually really did enjoy Cookie Munchers in Tampa. That was delicious, a lot of fun. I kind of wish there was more time involved in the challenge to actually enjoy all the delicious cookies. Um, but then I would say that doing the Richie Cheesesteak up at Spring Hill was a lot of fun, too. It was a really big event. Lots of people came out to support. It had that cool kind of small town community vibe. Really enjoyed that. My favorite was a unique one that we did. There's a St. Petersburg location, but I did it at the Lakewood Ranch uh, location near Bradenton. But Pacific Counter... It was more like Pacific Island, like sushi yeah. burritos and stuff like that. It was like nine pounds finished off with a pineapple Dole Whip float. It was crazy. That was a big one. I would like that one. What was the most difficult challenge would you say you've done? In the Tampa area or just in Florida? All over. I've done a couple challenges that were right around nine to nine and a half pounds. And so what, what kind of food would you say is the most difficult? Say someone's interested and be like, I want to see if I can do this. What was the most difficult for you? Anything that's chewy. If there's a lot of crust on a pizza, that can yeah. be really difficult. You can get your uh, jaw real sore. Yeah. Um, or, or whenever there's a lot of meat and it's overcooked, that can be really rough. Yeah. I've done like an 87-ounce steak in 15 minutes, but then I've also taken over an hour for a 72-ounce. It kind of depends on how they cook it. Interesting. 
Uh, we have uh, about 30 seconds left. How can people follow you? Yeah. One of the great things about being on social media and YouTube like this is you can really interact, I think, with fans. I'm sure you have uh, fun doing that as well. What's the best way people can see where your eating challenges take you next? Right. I'm uh, easy to find under Katina Eats Kilos. You can find me on YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook. Yep. And then mine's all just Randy Santel, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram. And we both have websites. She's KatinaEatsKilos.com. And mine is soon to be randysantel.com. Uh, can I just throw out there, guys? I actually married a fellow broadcaster, so it works out to have the similarities. I've never <laughs> met food challenge couple, but I see good <laughs> things in your future. People and always talk about family. having a wedding cake challenge. We always laugh. Oh, you yeah. have to. You have to. It's perfect. <laughs> oh, you guys, it's so nice to meet you both. Yeah. Hey, thanks for having us so on. Much. All right. <laughs> Take care, guys. <laughs> <laughs>